Hi Jemima. Hi Trini. Annie's here again. Hi Annie. Hello. And today we're doing minimalist. Ooh. Minimalist dressing. We don't see minimalism with much colour, do we? No, we don't. No. Why is that? Discipline. I th discipline. <laughs> discipline, that is such a good word. It's such discipline. And for me, being a magpie, it's like, oh no, I can't do that. So we've got here a rail, which is so disciplined, and it comprises of eight pieces. So we're going to try and do as many outfits as we can. This is the Zara dress. And then we have two different white shirts, one for layering um, and one just fitted. They're one Zara, one's Max Mara, and a white mm -hmm. t-shirt, a pair of black trousers, which are sort of high-waisted, a gilet in black, a PVC kind of coat. It could be a plain coat, but then we did also a really old Stella yeah. half coat, ka jacket. Ka jacket, and then a yeah. top that is structural. So the details kind of coming in and the texture yeah, and the it structure. It has its own yeah. details, minimalism, doesn't it? I think that's the thing. Yeah, it's it just these little subtle details, a yeah. little bit extra on the cuff, cuff, potentially. Exactly. And a little bit of volume here as well will just make it a bit more interesting. Then we've got two bags. We've got a bag that Annie just bought in the sample sale. Shh. I love that bag. From Jill Sander. And this is a bag I bought in Australia. And then shoes-wise, my really old yeah. Chloe's we're going to use. We might use a black stiletto. We will use a chunky boot. I often see you wear this dress with the Balmain belt. So why yes. haven't you put it on Because we're now? going to start with nothing. Okay. And then we're going to build. And then makeup-wise, John. I mean, very, very minimal right now. And there's not much here. It's just clean face, isn't it? Yeah, it's just really nice creamy skin and then just focusing on all of the lovely higher points, which is contour on the cheekbones, I contoured the crease. Always Serena, I use Always Serena. Serena. And then brushed up handsome fluffy brows with gorgeous lashes and just a nice nude lip, Katie Sheer Shimmer. Great. Thank Should you. Should we get started? Let's go. Look one, really clean and simple. Pro Prada, I want to say Prada, but it's a Zara dress. My really old Chloe brogues which mm -hmm. I haven't worn for many many years rediscovered when I've been filming this week and thinking I love them and then just the one cuff and occasionally a pair of structural sunglasses Ooh. so one can be serious how do you know serious. which um how frame do you know shape. which styles yeah frame shape it's about you. if you have an oval face it's about getting some width into your face so these glasses are quite good for me because they widen my face because my face is quite long so next one is I'm putting on my old Stella coat with a chunky boot and a little pop sock Okay. Just to add to the other details, still have that single cuff. Why have we swapped the shoe? I felt it needed chunky groundingness when I put the coat on and it didn't work so well with such a delicate shoe. It was too heavy at the top and delicate at the bottom. Mm. Proportionality. Now we've just literally added the bag and it's about the little detail and the texture still all black. Then at the back, that little thing hanging down in a slightly postmodern punk way. Trini, who suits this look the best? It's about challenging yourself on things like this because you might be somebody who's incredibly ultra feminine and then this look for you is so far from what you're used to, but it brings a whole different feeling inside you when you challenge, the, when you channel this look. It's like a confidence out of this. I like to say it gives you strength. Yeah. And can we talk about the vibe of the makeup? When we were feminine, we were very ethereal. We do were. you want to be minimal in your makeup with this look? I do. I mean, would a minimalist wear a bright red lip? Yes, it might, but this is very clean. It's about making the best shape in your face so it's a lot about contouring and it's a lot about clean nothing is standing out it's about lifting and shaping your face and bone structure just mm. with little tweaks mm. yeah. of tone as opposed to color and i like the side part yes the side part is a little bit slightly i'm slightly wednesday <laughs> but i don't mind because who doesn't want to channel wednesday occasionally so now i put a gilet on the top and it's literally that's all it is just putting that there Mm -hmm. And then I can add on the bag again, but it adds that little extra layer. And it's about the textures here, Jemima. It's about just the wool gabardine with the faux leather yeah. and then the metal. The slit's very yeah. clever, purposeful. Yeah. Mm. There's a certain, dare I say, femininity. Yeah, do you feel good, Trini? I feel great. <laughs> I'm loving it. This is interesting, Jemima, because there's no waste here. There's no shape, but then minimalist is not about creating feminine shapes. It's about creating sort of nearly architectural structure. So mm. Zara padded top. Not even anything taken in, shall I have a waist? I might occasionally walk into a room like that just to mm -hmm. give myself a waist. But again, it's about the difference in the texture and the shapes. And would you add a bag with this, Trini? Yes, whereas I was wearing before this bag like that, 
And what yeah. I'll do now is I'll make it my jewelry, put this here at the front, mm -hmm. and then just wear it high up. So it's like this kind of piece of jewelry that just sits mm. on my front. I think this look is easy, isn't it? Like it's a lot of thought behind it, but it does look very easy to, you know. Yes, it is easy to, to do. On. It's just, and also the fewer things you have to choose from, the more you challenge yourself for the different looks you can make. Now, I'm going to just putting everything on. I'm loving it. I think I literally can go abroad with this if I was wearing a black helmet. Yeah. But I just love the flow of this. I like the polar neck with the coat on top. I feel just layered and textured. And that's all I'm going to say, layering. This textured. is like the ultimate capsule wardrobe. This is the ultimate capsule wardrobe. My challenge would be to do it with colour and not make it a minimalist wardrobe. Mm. But we're up for that challenge. Now I've introduced a Topshop Mac. This adds another bit of texture. And I like the fact that it's not PVC over the PVC and there's just some gabardine in between oh, the two. Yeah. And then at the end here, there's a little bit of that PVC matching. So that's one way of doing it. Would you wear it undone or would you tie? I could tie it. I don't know. You see, we talked about not having a waist. The thing is also PVC is a bugger. I mean, <laughs> we could do that, but I don't know. If, does that make you think minimalism now? No. No. You see, it's just the flow is gone. But what we could do would take a gilet and we could also put it on top just to have little bits poking out and get a little bit more of a layer in And like it's so that. clever to put the gilet over the coat so you can see both. Yeah, I think you'd want to put the gilet over the coat because you want to have that kind of textural change yeah. in the clothing. And the way the light is reflecting it, it looks really great, all the textures together. Fabulous. All right, yeah. let's introduce the white shirt. Sports back shirt with a pointed down collar. It's about one thing that really has a modern look to it. Okay, so are you adding the white shirt for coverage or layering? This is all about monochromatic looks and having the white underneath makes the dress feel different. And I think because the dress is not a plain black shift dress, it doesn't feel so much a uniform because there's texture in the dress and there's a little pleating here. So the double cuff, cuff as well, it's those little details that take it from very white shirt under black shift dress to something a little bit harder. Okay, and for minimalist, do you want to do up the top button so it's clean? Always top button done up for minimalist. Okay. Never undone. So now I'm putting on like a 10 year old pair of Celine trousers on underneath. And what I realize it's all very black and I need you to see the trouser. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take off the pop sock and then just have that brose back on because what we really want is that minuscule detail, which is the ankle with the brooch just go in on that Jemima but that's very minimalist of yeah know, just the right point in which it hits your ankle so when it's down it hits at this narrow point here and that to me is a true perfect ankle crop trouser okay and how much of the trouser do we want to see under the dress well that's the thing I don't know if it's going to be longer than the dress and it needs to be a couple of inches longer than the dress for this effect to work the dress is off the dress is off we got a shirt on and i've got the shirt out at the moment jemima mm -hmm. which is just feels weird but i just want to show how great the shirt is and this is all about wearing a white shirt to show the shirt because i haven't got a platform on of any kind my legs look really short in proportion to it mm -hmm. so would i do a bit of a tuck or would i just always be standing with my hand in my pocket <laughs> so you could see the high waistness of the trouser yeah they are high waisted so it is yeah. nice to see so it them, does it? help i think this wouldn't work with a low waisted trouser and a really flat shoe because my proportion of my torso to my trousers would just be out of whack yeah and at the start you used the bag as your piece of jewelry yeah are you wearing any jewellery now? Yeah, I've just got the cuff on, oh, okay. which is slightly hidden, but let me, and now I'm going to build up on this outfit. Okay. And now I've got the gilet, because I have done this quite severe hairstyle, because the clothes are quite strong and black and white and quite big on me. It shows how small of a pinhead I have. So I have to be really careful. In photographs, it's harder in real life, mm -hmm. because I'm talking and animated, my head will come back in proportion. I do think that sleek look is very minimalist though. It is totally minimalist. And then of course, would have the bag. I could take it to a chunky boot as well, but mm -hmm. I, then it would be all one leg and it would be a different look. It's nice to see that A break, little bit of skin. Yeah. yeah. Then I'd put this on over the top. And this is just how versatile a gilet is, because you can do it under or over if you just want to change and position and reposition the lengths of the hemlines mm. um, of your bottom half. And I do love having this length and then that length. I, mm -hmm. I adore change the lengths. When some gilets don't have a side, and I think never buy a gilet that doesn't have a side to here because you're inclined to want to put your hands in your pockets and still have fabric at the front as opposed mm. to always doing that. 
or do a trinny whittle and cut it. Or you can cut it, yes, <laughs> which I have done yeah. quite a few. For me, this feels architectural, and I love wearing a bit of architecture on my face, yeah. on my body. Mm. Okay, so we're adding the coat over the So we're just adding the coat and trying it out. I haven't seen it on camera yet, but I love the PVC with the white shirt popping out and cuff is that exactly elongates it, because this coat has been a bit too short for me in the cuff, and now it's a perfect one. And then I'm just looking at the layering. We've got the gilet inside now, not outside. It just adds that tiny little detail before you hit the white shirt. We're changing the cuff. We're making it even longer, and I folded it out, Jemima, because it's a double cuff. Yeah, so it's about one. pieces of clothing that have so many options to them. So this white shirt, there's so much playfulness around the cuff, because I could do that. I could put it up if you're shorter um, in the arm. Annie is a little bit more petite than you come over, Annie. This is how you do a lot of shirts, isn't it? Just tucking them over like that. Yes. And, 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 and jackets. And jackets. <laughs> but it's just, you know, don't feel scared if you're petite to think, how would I then do that layering around my arm? It still can work moving up the arm as opposed to, for me, with a longer arm moving down the arm. Mm. So from the wrist, if you're petite, move up. And if you're longer armed, like me, move down. It's a good tool to be able to change it to your exact shape as yeah. well. That's yeah. the beauty of it. And it's versatile. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Great. I'm loving this because I love the glasses. They're giving that framework to my face because sometimes when I wear this um, ponytail, I feel my face looks small, Jemima. So that gives breadth to it. Oh, it does. Uh, the boot is back. The boot is back and it's elongated it. It's made it more wintry. It's made my legs longer and the proportions have changed of the outfit. Would you keep the collar over the gilet to make your shoulders less broad or like how I, does that work? Yeah, I mean, my shoulders are not that broad. I've got the little, um, my secret weapon underneath. And I think I'd never hide this collar because the collar is what's so amazing about the shirt. So you want to show it off as much as you can. If I hide it, then it just becomes something that's a little bit more pedestrian. So like that. Yeah. yeah. This is just a layering moment, the white shirt. And this is longer than I'd normally do for layering because sometimes I'd have it like that, Jemima. Yeah. So I don't know, I've got to see it in a mirror and I haven't seen it yet, whether I prefer that proportion than having it low. Do you see it brings everything down when it's low? Yeah, but both ways you don't have that emphasis on your waist, so... No, you don't anyway, but it's just where the reference point is for where you think my waist is. Just doing another little sort of design with a cuff where I'm doing half like that. You see, they're Ooh. so starched, these cuffs, that I can have that little line, and it just, I love that detail. That's super good. cool. And you've still got the shoulder pad underneath. Still got the shoulder pad underneath. So this is a raglan sleeve, and it can sometimes look like a very, hi Lily, it can sometimes look like a very small shoulder. So I yeah. quite like that I've got something there changing the shape of the jacket by the, the top I've got on underneath. Yeah, that's really clever. We haven't showed you everything, but we've done 34 different looks with eight pieces of clothing, two pairs of shoes, a bag and a cuff. I'm literally going to take these pieces and put them in a section of my wardrobe for days when I feel I want to be this person. Yeah, perfect for hand luggage. Yeah, and the thing is, everyone has elements of this. Every, you know, everyone has a white shirt, everyone has black pair of trousers, most people have a black jacket or a black coat. I think our next challenge is doing this all with colour. Oh my God, that'd be difficult. I just I don't know where we go next, because I think the opposite of this, to me, is eclectic. Definitely. Because it's going, it's the full enchilada. So if you felt I'm not a minimalist girl, I think you have to watch next week. Yeah, and we'd love to know what else you want to see. Yeah. Thanks, Trini. Bye.